Hello, this is Stokes Baker. In this video, I'll show you a rapid way to create bar graphs containing confidence intervals in Microsoft Excel. I'm making the following assumptions that you're using Excel 2013 or the equivalent Excel 365, that you know how to write formulas and create graphs in Excel, and have a basic understanding of descriptive statistics. This slide shows us what a confidence interval is. It is a range of values around a sample mean where the population mean is likely to be found. This is the equation describing a confidence interval where mu is the population mean, x bar is the sample mean, s is the sample standard deviation, n is the sample size, alpha is the type of type 1 error. That's the proportion of the time the confidence interval does not overlap the population mean. Then we have t alpha divided by 2. That is the critical value of student t distribution for a two-tailed confidence interval. This term plus or minus t s times square root of n collectively is known as the margin of error. Our goal is to make a graph like this. We have our bar graph where on the y-axis we're describing some sort of mean or average and on our x-axis is the independent variable and our bars which we're representing averages have these range bars over within them and those are our confidence intervals. What we have here is a spreadsheet set up to calculate means and confidence intervals. Here's our data. In this simulated data, we're looking at the number of eggs per nest of Canadian geese populations from three locations. To calculate the confidence intervals using our equation right here, we need to know the sample mean, x bar. We need to know the sample standard deviation, s the sample size n and the stated level of alpha which is the your significance to calculate the sample mean x bar we're going to use the command average then data array in this case our data array going from a3 to cell a18 Yes, I'm including some empty cells here, but the reason for that is that we later on when we do the other calculations, we want to include the larger data sets. For standard deviation, we're going to use the command stdev.s and then the array, in this case A3 to A18. To determine the sample size, n, we're going to use the command count and then the array, A3 to A18. In this example, I decided to calculate 95% confidence intervals. So my stated value of alpha is 5% of 0.05. The other common values we could use for a 99% confidence interval, alpha would be set at 0.01. And for a 90% confidence interval, alpha would be set at 0.1. To calculate the margin of error, we're going to use the command confidence.t with the following argument. The first value is your stated level of alpha. The second cell contains the sample standard deviation. The third cell contains the information on the sample size. To show you the calculations, I'm going to to put in these formulas into the corresponding cells. Now that we have our formulas inserted, I'm going to show you again the array that we've actually designated. I now want to repeat these formulas. The easiest way to do that is to highlight the cells containing the formulas and on the lower right hand corner is a little green square. Put your mouse over it, click and hold, and then drag 
and then release. And our calculations are repeated. You notice these last two cells, it says number. And the reason for that, Excel made the assumption that we want to add the value of one to our alpha. We don't. So we're going to set these back to 0 0.5. and now we have our calculations. So the information we need to make our graph, our bar graph, is the sample means, which are in bold, and our margin of error, which I've placed in bold also. To make our bar graph, I'm going to first highlight our means, insert, bar graph, to change the bottom x-axis. I'm going to use quick layout. And I'm going to add layout 9. And then I'm going to delete the key right here. To change the values on the x-axis, so it's the name of our populations instead of the default values of 1, 2, 3. I'm going to click the select data button. I'm going to click the term edit on the right hand side. And I'm going to highlight the cells that contains my labels. And voila! Properly labeled. Now to add our range bars corresponding to the 95% confidence intervals. I'm going to take this box that says plus element, click it. I'm going to go down to where it says error bars and go down to more options and then I'm going to custom. And then I'm going to click where it says specifies values. In this dialog box, it puts a default value of 1. Instead, we want to put in our margin of error. So we're going to click that, highlight our margin of errors. For the negative value, we're going to repeat the process. And there we have the 95% confidence intervals inserted. Now, I like a little bit thicker range bars, so I tend to make them larger like that, and I prefer black over gray. Now, to finish up our graph, we're going to label this axis title to Goose Population. For the y-axis, we're going to use the term mean clutch size and insert our units which is eggs per nest. Now I don't like the small size nor the gray so I'm going to go to home and I will probably make that 12 font and the color is black For the numbers, again, that needs to be at least 12 point, and probably should be black. Now, there should be a line on the y-axis. To add a horizontal line, click the numbers on the y-axis, right-click, and then Format Axis. Click this little bucket that's fell in line. We're going to add a solid line. We're going to use black. And I like one point. On the x axis, same thing. Let's make it a larger font. And right click, format axis, the bucket, solid line black and one point. 
for a labeling of our population. So I'm going to use 40 point and black. Oh, and for chart title, we could say mean clutch size with 95% confidence intervals. There you have it.